Hello again YouTube, Gabo here and I'm ready to part 4 and I hope you are too uh, of my tutorial which I'm covering uh, the setup of a multiboot Mac-like uh, machine which stands for the the, the having the, the setup of uh, a machine that can uh, natively uh, boot uh, as many and I'm having seven right now but as many OS's as you want okay so let's uh, rewind, rewind uh, and remi remind something uh, we discussed late, uh, uh, before uh, that we want to have a very good plan and when I say plan, I say partition plan most of the time, okay? We want to have a partition plan. Uh, we want to know our machine, our Mac machine, uh, uh, which uh, when it comes to a model. So my MacBook Pro is a 5.5 one and uh, a mid twenty. Uh, 2009 one okay and you want uh, to to remember that information okay because if you if something happens you will have to go online and uh, look for uh, firmware to your Mac and drivers and stuff and Ubuntu help and anything and you, you are going to comment on my video to help you and I have to know uh, what uh, machine you have, okay? So, well, tools we need are already here on my desktop, okay? So, refined, as I said, refined, you, we are going to use the 0.6.12, okay? The most up-to-date but before uh, 0.7 because uh, I guess this is not working very uh, well yet and uh, may, uh, they do updates like uh, uh, every other week but okay and uh, we're going to install on our Mac a G-Disk which is a tool to uh, partition and manage uh, our, our drives our HDDs and uh, sorry for that because it's a uh, it's uh, a test based partition okay a test based uh, application uh, but I'm going to show you exactly uh, how to 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 work with it okay uh, before anything happens backup of stuff again and have a external HDD uh, you may want to have a external uh, HDD with uh, an install of Mac OS X in it so uh, if you you can't boot on your main Mac OS X uh, installation and you need something and uh, you can boot from your external XDD, okay? And please have a thumb drive, okay? It's easier, it's faster, uh, it's very, very handy when it comes to make lots of uh, Linux installations and um, experimental installations, okay? So if you have a thumb drive, it will ease a lot to our life okay if if not okay use a rewritable DVD and have like six or more rewritable DVDs because uh, they eventually uh, get screwed uh, if you do like 20 or 30 uh, uh, rewritings okay and if you don't know that be prepared to have a screwed up uh, DVD uh, but 
get a tow drive, please, okay? So that's our plan, okay? That's our plan. Oh, that's our plan for now. Uh, our plan for now is to have a Mac OS X booting from a hard drive, Mac a have a Windows booting for a hard drive, and uh, at least three Linux installs. Uh, this is uh, the OS uh, side of things and uh, in addition to that we were going to use a, share, a data sharing partition as I said uh, we'll give you a very smooth and clean uh, use of your data okay because if you don't know yet uh, uh, having this setup uh, three, uh, five OS's at least five uh, will will get will will use up to 150 or 200 maybe uh, space on your disk. And if you're like me and have uh, only a MacBook Pro to to do all that uh, messy stuff, uh, and you have only 500 gigs uh, like me. In, you will uh, will want to to share all your data in uh, one single partition rather than having uh, like a hundred uh, gig there and a hundred gig there and a hundred gig there and so on. Okay. Well, if you have a three terabyte uh, HDD, don't mind that at all. But even though uh, uh, you will go to to want uh, that setup because it's very easy, very handy, okay, very juicy, okay. So let's see here. That's our plan, and uh, I don't know if I said that already, but you're going to we're going to keep. Our Mac OS X installation, okay. We're not going to do any messy stuff, any uh, hard, uh, nerdy stuff like window, uh, setting up a Windows, Ubuntu, and many others, uh, only Linux installs and, and teaching or uh, giving away our Mac OS X, okay. Because that's the the main and stable system you'll have uh, for doing all the stuff. And if you if you begin, if you want to begin, uh, not having OS X, uh, please uh, install that on uh, your external HD. You can do that and uh, set all this up uh, that I'm saying. Uh, booting from your external ATD and, and then uh, get, get uh, uh, blow up your Mac OS X because you can do that if you want but uh, I will not use the, uh, this type of setup to my tutorial okay so let's see here we have the refined binaries here which is uh, uh, 0 0.6.12 I don't know if, can, if you can see that uh, 0 0.6.12 version because I uh, in my experience I found out that uh, the 0 0.7 that is already already out it's not working very good with the BIOS uh, boot mode, okay? Uh, I said something about BIOS there, I don't know if I, I made me very clear, but... Uh, and you, you are wanting to have a G-Disk, okay? You get the latest, the latest uh, version of it, you're going to have a DMG-D-Disk, 
uh, and you're going to click you can do it now you're going to click and install the disk from the installation uh, I already do that so uh, I don't know what this is going to just that this is not the right to disk okay I'm so sorry so very sorry ah uh, so go online do this can look up in the GPT yeah, this tutorial is that it uh, do this command page no, it's a manual page Oh, there it is. Okay, so you you are willing to look up for GPT FTSC. Okay, so look up for GPT FTSC on, online, and as you see, the free develop development uh, software downloads. Okay, and there you're going to download this item here uh, uh, there it is okay 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 so we have the, the latest version I guess here uh, which is in uh, PKG which is a package uh, files uh, extension we're going to open that and start the installer okay so you go through the installer and it's very easy very very smooth and when you have the disk you're set up okay so that's it get the fucking that's it okay so let's begin the setup okay so first thing you want to know you're going to have to use a lot of uh, crap going to have uh, you're going to uh, use a lot of disk utility so have this on your dock uh, already okay so as you can see here uh, I have a tip for you is to back up not only your data but your OS installers okay so I have a, a little folder here with all OS's I want I wanted to to back up as a, as you can see I backed up uh, Mac OS X install DVD there is the image and now I'm gonna show you very quickly how to do that okay so you can see here that I have uh, the DVD uh, booted up okay on my drive and I'm gonna click uh, I'm gonna go to, to the DVD I'm gonna click restore here I'm gonna use uh, this one as the source okay and I gonna uh, is that it? Well, oh, sorry. Uh, click here and new image. Okay, new image. Uh, you're gonna save as uh, compressed and no encryption on whichever folder you, di di directory you want with whichever name you want. And you're gonna save 
to lead you to a like a half an hour process, half an hour work, and then you're going to have something like that: a DMG, a image of your Mac install DVD. Okay, so that's very easy, very handy, and if you want. Uh, therefore, to have uh, let's eject this. Sorry for the noise. Do the noise, man. Okay, come on. Okay. Well, if you want to 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 do that uh, after, and if you need precisely saying you can pull, put up your thumb drive there there is my thumb drive uh, it's formatted on next fat now that's a FAT extended a FAT and uh, if you come here and you click uh, restore you can choose the DMG you just did, okay, and put there. And as destination, you can you just grab your the, the partition uh, of your thumb drive and click restore. And then, what uh, half hour later, or maybe more, you're going to have a. Uh, uh, bootable Mac OS installation uh, media on the DVD on sorry on the, the thumb drive and this will be very handy if you have to resize the partitions and you don't didn't uh, make uh, installation on uh, a external hard drive or something like that you can do that and you will you don't need to wait that much to boot up from the DVD and I think it's more secure because the DVD can break and a variety of stuff okay so so fire up the disk utility okay as you can uh, as you can see here I, I have a setup made of my computer and I can pretty much uh, mess up with it, okay? So, uh, on the purpose is to show you the preparation of uh, what you're doing with our partitions, okay? I'm going to mess up with my, H, my external HDD, which I can... Uh, I can uh, simulate uh, some of the work we are going to do. So, as you can see, my HDD uh, has the same size as my my Mac hard drive, and it has uh, only three partitions. If you don't know, don't know that yet, and you have a single one big blank uh, white partition, okay. Uh, you problem didn't mess up with it uh, very much, uh, and you have this kind of thing. You will, well, you will have to uh, uh, make uh, new partitions and do stuff with your drive and. Uh, be prepared to uh, mess stuff up if you don't follow my guide very, very, very closely, okay? So, sorry, first we're going to do another thing, okay? As you can see, the applications, and you can go to applications and utilities, 
and you can see that uh, there's a, there is a boot camp assistant there. If you fire up that, you're going to have uh, something like that, okay? And uh, you can uh, read this, but it's not very important. Um, if you didn't do that already on your life, uh, and this is totally new to you, I advise you to look up online a uh, little bit more about Bootcamp and what it does because I'm actually not going to use that I did, I used that uh, to make my setup my, but this is not uh, needed to do that setup okay so ba basically what it does is uh, lets you install Windows on your Mac and that's uh, as you can look up on a plan is one of the things we are willing to do and if you're not, if you don't need Windows, if you despise Windows for any reason uh, just skip this part of the tutorial and go straight to part 5, okay? So, I'm going to show you. Uh, I already have the, uh, the, the window CD. And if I go through this, uh, they will tell me not to go through, okay? Because uh, uh, I have already uh, windows on my Mac. And I'm sorry to, uh, I can show you that right now. Uh, uh, I could if I install the, a Mac, a Mac uh, on the Win, on the virtual box and did all this stuff, but probably it wouldn't uh, sound very good and the video wouldn't be very good too. So what I'm doing is same. If you do that process, this process here, continue. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna go to a a uh, what do I say a a a screen that uh, will go will ask you to repartition your drive and if you have something like that uh, probably you have something like that by now okay Macintosh AD uh, Mac OS Extend Joinlet okay uh, if you have something like that uh, they will tell you to repartition uh, your, your drive and what you want uh, for now is to repartition something like uh, living I I want to say 50 gigs click 50 gigs to your Macintosh your Mac OS X partition and install Windows on the rest okay I, I, give, I gave, as you can see here, to my partition, my Mac partition, I gave uh, 60, a uh, little more than 60 gig uh, to my Mac partition, and this is this totally messed up, don't mind that, okay, uh, I will explain that later, I give uh, 60 gig of uh, uh, my hard drive to only to Mac because I ha I want I like to to have a a uh, I have I I would like to have space to install new applications and install new stuff and uh, since all new applications and system installments uh, are uh, will be on your 
on your main Mac partition and not on your data uh, shared partition, uh, you will want to have uh, uh, any anything like 56 or 70 uh, gig on your main uh, Mac web. Okay, that uh, saying if you're willing to keep your Mac OS X and uh, saying uh, that if you making your Mac OS X the main uh, the main uh, OS on your computer okay so I'm going to change that again and tell you to go uh, with uh, a six 60 gig partition for your Mac Kintosh. Uh, don't mind much the name, okay. Uh, I, I, I changed mine, it's the label, I changed it. Uh, but uh, that's not very important for a purpose, okay. So you follow me you're going to have something like that before oh sorry after you go through uh, this bird campus uh, assistant okay so this is uh, only and um, not only but mainly if you're uh, willing to install Windows XP because uh, as I will tell you Windows XP uh, can't uh, be uh, on another partition other than uh, the fourth one okay so this uh, sorry sorry very very much sorry uh, maybe you are putting a 70 on that partition leaving the rest with uh, uh, 430 or more you know, depending on how much you have on your storage on your main storage okay so if you did that if you follow the uh, the bootcamp because that it's uh, very easy very intuitive to do and uh, uh, after you're going through that, you're going to have a, a two partitioned uh, hard drive with a uh, up to 70 gig uh, Mac OS X partition and a up to the rest of the thing uh, of a Windows partition, okay? Well, uh, be aware, aware that uh, Bootcamp will tell you to do it on a Bootcamp screen rather than on the disk utility. Mm -hmm. But if you want to do on the disk utility like I did, uh, you do that, you click apply, and that's it. And you, you go uh, with a Bootcamp and... Uh, at some point, he, uh, unlike mine, he will tell you to where to install uh, Windows, and you go in to tell him to install in, in this partition, the, the bigger one, uh, the second and bigger one. Uh, for now, we're going to have two only, but later we're going to have more. And we we'll click install and uh, then you follow guides of uh, how to install Windows. Uh, very clean, very, very straightforward. Because uh, uh, you won't, uh, you won't be. I can't show you, okay? Because uh, if I try to install Windows, I won't have any recorder stuff, and so on. And please, uh, 
uh, dig up and uh, know how to install Windows if you didn't uh, ever did that, didn't ever do that uh, on your life, but probably you did because you you are willing to make a multi-boot machine and you probably want to know how uh, to install Windows. Uh, uh, being it uh, XP, Vista, which I advise you to not do, please, because Vista uh, it's very buggy and you're going to have a lot of problems and BOSO, BSODs. Uh, but if you want this and if you have the license, uh, install whatever you want and then come back to part 5 of my, my tutorial and I'll show you uh, uh, the right way well to do all the installations without bootcamp if you don't want to to use bootcamp okay so that's it and bye for now